Hey there, and welcome to a special episode of Coffee with Chris. I've got my coffee here, and I bet if I show you out the window, you can guess where we are. Yeah, the whistle kind of gives it away. So here I am on the Down Easter, on my way from Exeter, New Hampshire to Boston. Headed down to Boston for the Association of Boarding Schools Conference. Now, like ACA conferences, TABS conferences have a lot of really smart, wonderful youth development professionals. And, just get a quick sip here, wouldn't be coffee with Chris without a little bit of coffee. The adjustment issues that boarding school professionals are managing are very similar to the adjustment issues that camp professionals manage, whether you run a day program or an overnight program. And homesickness is a big issue. So my colleague, Dr. Sohoy Lee and I made a dozen animations that focus on homesickness prevention, time management, acculturation stress, joining classroom discussions, recalibrating your self-esteem. So a lot of really cool issues that address boarding school issues, but that are common to any young person spending time away from home. So what I want to share with you in today's Coffee with Chris is the importance of recommending to all of your new camper families that now, now in the winter, this is the time to arrange practice time away from home for their child. The adjustment to separation from home shouldn't begin in May. This is when I see all of the articles, including quotes from me appearing in national newspapers and magazines and even on radio and television. But to tell you the truth, May or June is too late to start managing the development of coping strategies. Really, we want to start cultivating those now. And the winter is the perfect time in your correspondence with your newly enrolled families to suggest how important it is to spend the weekend at grandparents or overnight at a friend's house uh, or hey, take the train, but do something that encourages the cultivation of coping strategies um, in these young people so that when it's time to spend two weeks, four weeks, seven weeks at your overnight camp or summer youth program, those young people are ready for it. All right, so now, uh, quick sip again. Mm. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Another fun episode of Coffee with Chris. I'll give you another quick shot out the train.